Hello, welcome to this tutorial for Diva. In this video, I'm going to show you specifically how to schedule content in the Diva interface. This is a culmination of everything that we've learned so far. Um, I recommend watching this video last. Um, we briefly touched upon scheduling in the introduction to Diva, but this video is going to go into much more detail. So now that we've created custom playouts, playlists, and have some videos and images, we're basically going to schedule all of them and tell the Diva player what to do and when to do it. In the introduction video we had set a default and we just put the playlist that we quick, quickly created here. I'm going to go ahead and remove this now. Down here at the bottom is the repository of all of the assets that you have. You can click this drop down menu and filter them by a certain type. I currently have it set to all. Media will just be videos and images. Playouts are just playouts and playlists are just playlists. You can also search by the name that you designate it. So all is fine. And first I'm going to set a default for my calendar. This default acts as a failsafe and the default will play when nothing else is scheduled to be played. Uh, so we use this as our failsafe just to, to prevent any black screens from happening. Uh, I'm going to pick one of these. I'm actually going to pick the playlist to be my default. Now I'm going to take some of these other assets and add them to my calendar or my schedule. So this new playout, the one that looks like this, the first one that we made before we flipped it, I'm going to click and drag inside it to change the start and end times. I can extend this to change the duration. Or I can do all of this manually right here. Um, I actually want this to start let's have it start yesterday and I do want it to be all day and recur on every Monday so every Monday this will be what we see on the screen then I'm going to take my flipped playout and put it on Tuesday let's say all day recurrence on Tuesday you can also set a recurrence ends on or an expiration date for your schedule then I'm going to take the playout I made in the introduction video, schedule it for Wednesdays, and then Thursday and Friday I'm going to do something a bit different. I'm going to take the two videos that I made and have them play for half of the day each uh, on both Thursday and Friday. So I'm going to take this uh, anti-bullying video and have it play, uh, let's make it 12 hours. I'm just going to type 12 here. That'll make it easier. And then recur this on Thursdays and Fridays. And then let's take the Instagram video, put it here, tell it to play for 12 hours, and recur it on Thursdays and Fridays. Uh, and then on the weekends, I'm not going to schedule anything, so it will just default to our new playlist. So this looks the way that I want it to, and this will recur every week. So if I move the calendar up or if I change the view to a month view, you can see that we have the same calendar events happening at the same times, uh, Monday through Friday. So once I have applied this, I'll click Apply, and the player will immediately begin playing what is it is scheduled to play. So in this case, it's going to be our new playout copy. And you can see that. If you click on your device name in the top left, and this will give you a snapshot of what's playing on our player. Um, so thank you for watching these Diva tutorial videos. Um, and for more information, go to support.spinetics.com. Thank you very much.